Welcome to another video. So, I think most of you would remember Claude Engineer and Olama Engineer, right? Well, now there's another engineer named Omni Engineer. It's from the same developer who made those two, and now this is a new project. Omni Engineer is a kind of successor to Claude Engineer. It can now use any model via Open Router. Other than that, it's basically like Claude Engineer. If we look at their GitHub page, you can see that it says Omni Engineer is a spiritual successor to Claude Engineer. It was built from extensive usage of handmade AI tools, trial and error, and feedback received. Compared to Claude Engineer, this new script allows for more control via simplicity, while leaving out some of the other functionalities, like a fully automated flow or the ability to run code. At the same time, it brings some cool new stuff like multi-file editing and save resume of chats. This framework is more suitable for people who actually want to code with a better assistant on their side versus something that is fully automatic. So, basically, it's Claude Engineer, but it just doesn't have the autonomous mode and stuff, which is fine by me. It can do file management, web searching, image processing, and it also has the undo functionality. It can also save and load conversations, which is pretty good. There are also multiple commands, just like what Ader has. You can say it's very much inspired by Ader. It also only uses Open Router, but I'll also tell you how you can use it with OpenAI or Olama as well. Anyway, now let's check it out and see how it works. So first, just get this repo cloned on your computer. Once it's cloned, navigate inside the folder. Now, we'll need to install the dependencies. To do that, just run this pip install command. This will get the dependencies installed. Once done, rename the env example file to env. Now, open it up in VS Code or any other editor of your choice. Once done, you'll need to enter the OpenRouter API key here. If you don't want to use OpenRouter and prefer OpenAI or Olama instead, you can do that as well. To do that, just open up the main Python file and change the base URL to OpenAI or Olama. For Olama, it will be something like this, and for OpenAI, it will be something similar. Now, we'll also need to enter the model we want to use here. If you're using OpenAI or Olama, you just need to enter the model name here. But if you're using OpenRouter, then you'll need to enter the model name with the provider name. Anyway, it comes pre-configured with Claude 3.5 Sonnet as the main agent and Gemini as the editor. So, let's just use it with that. Now, once all is done, just go back to the terminal. Over here, just run the main Python file. Now, you can see the UI here. It's very similar to the previous versions. Anyway, you can also see the things we can do here. I'm thinking of making a Minesweeper game with it. So, let's do that. Let's ask it to create a new file here. So, now it's asking if we want to edit it. Let's say yes here. So, it's asking what we want to do with it. Let's ask it to make a Minesweeper game using HTML, CSS, and JS. Okay, it seems to be doing that now. Let's wait a bit. So, it seems like it's done now. Let's open it up and see. Okay, this doesn't have the board or anything. I think it wasn't able to put the code correctly or something. Like here in the code, it wants the script J's, but it isn't made. So, I guess in the prompt, we'll have to ask it to put all the code in one file, as it cannot make or edit other files. Now here, let's use the edit option. Let's ask it to do the same thing. But this time, let's ask it to put everything in the same file. Okay, it's doing that. Let's wait a bit. So, it's now done. Let's look at it. Okay, this looks pretty good now. And it's also working fine as well. So, it can do it but you'll need to make sure it doesn't generate code for other files. 
and keeps everything in the same file. Maybe changing the system, prompt a little bit can fix that. Anyway, now let's also try out the other commands it has. So, the add, edit, and new, we have already tried. Let's try the search. Let's go over here and use it. I'm asking it about how we can install Llama 3.1 with it. So, it seems to be searching now. Also, you don't need any API key for search, which is pretty cool. I think it uses DuckDuckGo for that since it's free. Anyway, it's now done. It doesn't give the results directly. It just adds the result to its context. So, now we'll need to ask it about it now. Let's ask it here. Okay, it answers it well. So, the search also works fine. The next one is image. So, let's give it this image. This is a screenshot of ChatGPT. Now, we'll need to add the image to the context first. Next, let's ask it to create a new file first. Okay, it's now done. Let's ask it to edit it. And now let's ask it to create a UI with the screenshot I gave it. It's doing that now. So, let's wait a bit. Okay, it's now done. Let's look at it now. So, this looks pretty good. I have no complaints with it because it looks very similar with a different take on it. So, this is also a cool feature if you want to use visual diagrams or UIs to make things. It's pretty cool. Apart from this, there's also the clear option, which apparently clears the context, like the images or search that you may have added. There's also the reset option, which clears the previous messages. Then there's the diff option, which turns off the diff display that you see. There's also the history option, which will save your history to a file, and you can also load it later with the load command. There's also the undo command, which will undo the last changes in the file, which is also very cool. Now, overall, I think this is a pretty handy tool. It can do almost everything you'd expect. Although, there are some issues, like it generates code for other files, even though it can't put them in or create files for it. So, that's something that can be fixed. But overall, it's a great tool. I don't have many complaints with it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can also consider taking up a membership on my channel through the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.